Yeah, but welcome to another video, and welcome to the ThinkPad Adventures. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Um, yeah, I finally got a ThinkPad right here. Um, as you can tell, it's got the pre-2015 logo, which means it's a bit of an older one, but it's not that old. It's, um, a T14... I say 1440. Oh, it's because of 1440p. 440p. The T440p. Um, so it's not modern, modern, but it's not old. Old? It's Haswell, so yeah. It would have been weird if I didn't get the Haswell one because, um, yeah. This is one of the last ThinkPads to have a socketed CPU, apparently. Which is a bonus because I didn't. I, I don't know. I know like socketed laptop CPUs are a bit of an older thing, but yeah, because this was the last generation Intel did socketed CPUs apparently. So let's turn it on now. As you can see, um, so yeah, clearly it needs fixing because it's already broken. Rockefellers. Interesting, whatever that means. <laughs> Did they not? Nah, surely that wipes this, right? I'll point the camera down. Oh, no, they definitely didn't. It's got, um, open shell. Um, well, I say open shell, this might actually be start all back. Um, Ooh. That's a little bit of a problem. I'm just saying the click does not seem to be working. Don't remember that being called a problem in the listing. Thankfully, mouse. And hopefully it'll be a lot less fiddly to connect a mouse to it how many usb ports does this have oh yeah it's got a thunderbolt port is it mini display port no it's just mini display port sorry Come on, what i said it's got a usb 3 there um two usb 3s there um that's it it's got a disk drive which absolutely was say yes to. I also believe this is a hard drive. In fact, let's um go into um thingy um, um so it's got three USB ports. No 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 it's got four. I cannot count the amount of USB ports it's got. All of them USB three. No the one I plugged the mouse into is actually USB two. Um yeah, so I believe this has got 500 gig hard drive. Hmm. Now, I'm not actually terribly bothered about the trackpad clicking not working. Yeah, so currently it's got only four gigs of RAM, although it's same free. Also, it's fame 33 megahertz. Now, Thankfully, I ordered the stick of RAM today, uh, well, a, a week ago. This was ordered a week ago, by the way, so it's taken quite a while to arrive. Two fellas, two bank holidays, but the, it was like Royal Mail 48, and when I hit the question mark on the track, it said two to three days um, is what that means with tracking. That's what it apparently means. But yeah, I've got a stick of RAM. It's 4 gigs of DDR3, um, 1600 megahertz, so it's faster. Mm. Yeah, so I believe it's a hard drive. It doesn't say it's a hard drive, but I mean, it's Western Digital. I can tell you that because it's got WDC. Um, and, oh, it's one terabyte. I was thinking 500 um yeah so 
I don't think they actually erased it, which is a bad practice. They've got Firefox on there, which is cool. Um, but they've got advanced... I mean, I can't complain about... Well, I'll say this. I think this is start us all back because I saw this in the list in the buttons are changed. And I believe... Um, OpenShell can't do that. No, I can't. Mm, no VLC. <coughs> oh yeah, I die. It's not appearing. Um, actually, you know what? Go back and task manager. It'll probably be on startup. I don't want to invest in my time at looking at this. No, there's nothing there. Hmm? I'm very confused. Point is, it's a, not the original Windows 10 start menu, and same with me. Um, I also want to point out, this came with a screen, like a screen spare. And where is it? It's down there. Should have brought it up. And you might be able to notice. It's not a matching screen. It's not 16 by 9 or whatever. It's not the same aspect ratio. It's not as wide. I don't know. Um, that's the answer. Now, I've confirmed the laptop pretty much works apart from the trackpad. So, let's try and get this opened up and chuck in the SSD also removable battery foreign concepts nowadays but really not surprising from a laptop of this time by this time this is like 10 years old but of course 10 years old. you can get away with 10 year old laptops you know um instead of, yeah the disk drive's a massive bonus <laughs> I wasn't I, I I didn't really properly look to see if it actually had the disk drive. I, I, I had a feeling it would because it's 24 in. Um, yeah, and here's the dock connector. Though. It's, there's plastic cover on that, right? Actually, there's a lock thing, I think. Not both. Both of these aren't for the battery, I don't think. Or maybe an hour. Don't see any indicator. You'd see, like... It's a bit like an indication. Oh, that was for the battery. It did go loose. Okay, maybe both of these are actually for the battery. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so. I'll get this open. And, of course, good old Windows 8. Everyone remembers Windows 8 for good things. But, do you know what I think we should do first? <laughs> I'm sorry. This is the best thing ever, so let's explode this with stickers. Not the greatest application, because I kind of assumed it was like one piece, but it isn't, which uh, I'm not particularly happy about it being not one piece, because it would really help, because um, it's going to be a bit wonky and stuff. If you use your eyes, I mean, that's a different angle to that, and that. A bit slightly different angle to that, and that slightly different angle. Yeah, I'm not good at these things, but I think that's the only one that's going to be in multiple pieces, thankfully. So, yeah, <laughs> let's go do some more. I guess it's time for the reveal of what I've done. I've not actually put all of the stickers on. I've not even shown you all the stickers, I've just realised, but um, let's flip it around, or I could shut the lid, either way I'll, I'll flip it around because it'll be upside down if I were to shut the lid. Oh. This is the best um, 
27 quid's worth of, well, I say 27 quid's worth of stickers. This is an all of them. In total, it all costs 27 quid, but I've still got a couple of stickers left. The problem is, all these, um, the space that's left, I can't really actually use. Yeah, that's a bit of a problem. Um, yeah, all the stickers I've got left are sort of too big to fit. Look, like, I mean, that. I don't really want to cover up the ThinkPad or the Lenovo logos, by the way. So, uh, yeah. I'm gonna. I, I want, yeah, I was worried about space. I was thinking, um, I was, I wasn't certain all of them will fit, but I'll probably put a couple on the, well, I'll probably put the rest on the palm rests. So, yeah. Let's get to work. So I've put three more stickers that I've, I've, I've sort of undaced. I don't want you to do available space in here. So I've got the Power PC logo in up there. Brand new eyes but I'll fly here. I'm very tempted to carve the border because it's way it's absolutely giant, if you understand. And the favours logo. I'm really probably should have put on the back, but oh well. Um yeah. And I guess now is the time to actually open it up. And yeah. Okay, so I've taken it apart. It was ridiculously easy to take apart, by the way. So this is the original hard drive. I've put the SSD. I've even bothered to screw it in because it literally was just two screws to open, which is, like, ridiculous. Um, also, I have tested it. It does This M.2 slot does recognise this SSD. Hopefully it's bootable because that would be very nice. Um, yeah, so I was just testing that out. Annoyingly, I've lost one of the sticks of the RAM. Um, I'll find it in a bit. Um, so, uh, but yeah, the SSDs at the very least being detected. Hopefully it would be bootable if I were to properly install it. Yeah, so I'm going to... So I will eventually put... An M.2 SSD. I don't know which form factor it is because I mean, yeah, you know, I can't put this one in, in like permanently. I put it in te for testing purposes. But um, yeah, M.2 SSD. I'll take that. Um, socketed CPU. <laughs> yeah, so weird. M.2, but um. M.2 in the device this old, but you know, you can have M.2 in these old devices because it was this introduced in 2011, I believe, which you know makes it three years old. No, three, two, two to three years old, whatever. Point still stands, it's not that weird. It's just a technology that wasn't really being used. But yeah, so I'll have to reinstall Linux um, on this SSD because it was giving me um, rub rescue unrecognised file system unless it was the, uh, the that SSD that was messing it up. I should actually have looked, but I'll just probably put the RAM in first. Weirdly enough, one's a Samsung, so when I look at these from a distance, they look like the same thing, but, um, yeah, one of them's 4 gigs, this one that I'm just putting in, and then the other's 2, but yeah, I need to charge my phone as well. Okay, so, I've upgraded the RAM. Now, annoyingly, um, the blue stick of RAM that I had, that uh, arrived today, was not working at all. Um, and as you can see, now it's turned on. It was literally giving a black screen with that RAM in. But the other stick was fine. 
but I ended up not even using the other stick because I just ended up stealing the two sticks that are in my MacBook Pro down there. Um, which are actually stolen from my 2013 iMac. Um, so they're two 4 gig 1600 megahertz. Apparently, this laptop supports um, up to 2133 megahertz, which is uh, interesting. And um, from what I can tell, I think it's literally the same price. No, actually, I don't think it is. I think it's like twice the price of the um, 1600 MHz. But I will actually probably buy it when I can. Um, fingers crossed it actually works. Um, because why not? There's I don't know how big the performance difference is, but I'll happily take it. Anyways, I shall now get my installer USB, plug it in, and install some Linux. Has a BIOS lock. Whoa! I don't know if I can reset it. Oh, it was blank? Question mark? Or oh, does it not let you change settings? Um... If not, if does this have a fingerprint reader? I didn't see one. And if so, I've probably covered it up. Um, with a sticker, I can't see a fingerprint reader. So, and it's also seemingly grayed out, which suggests it's not. Um. Oh, it's all grayed out. Oh, oh, no, I think. Oh, it looks like so the keys on the keyboard don't work. Hmm. Not good. Yeah, they're going up. Is it up or the down? And the right keys work, but the other two don't. Or unless it's the BIOS that doesn't support that. For some... No, the up doesn't work. Surely that I ash. Make sure secure boot's off. Yes, it is. I don't want secure boot. Um. Um. No. Um. Fine. Um, will it be into USB? No, it's not being into USB. I did plug in USB three, right? Yeah, I did. Um, boot menu. There we go. Um, yeah, I want to go into the Sandisk. So this is a Ventoid drive. I also need to move files onto on my phone to the S like the videos to the SD card because um yeah. I also need to get connected to the internet. Oh, do Ethernet just because I can't be bothered to um IWCTL. It, was, it wasn't too bad. It was relatively simple, but I'm not in the mood for that so I'm gonna connect it to Ethernet, which means I'm I'll move um down below because Ethernet cable probably won't reach up here. So I added out the Arch install, and um, I'm just gonna do in Dev OS because it's working. I really hate that Arch install recently has just been really quite broken. Um, really not helpful. So. I'm, I do know how to, well, I do vaguely know how to do Arch. I know how to change the brand into, you know, Arch Linux and stuff. Um, well, it's FOS and, you know, removing the repo. Nice and simple. Um, haven't actually bothered to remove the packages, but it's probably... 
continue to do the um, command I've forgotten because I don't remember. It's like a clear cache or something. Command I can't remember. But um, that's for me to work out when I get up and running. Yeah, also, annoyingly, I've tried two different Ethernet cables. To be fair, they're both the same cable, like it seems. It, um, but they are, they always, they're really loose and it's really not suitable. So I might have to connect to using Wi Fi. Thankfully, you know, in DevRS, when it's KDA, so you just hit, you know, a couple of bars. Yeah, I think if I could, it's not like it's it's not like I'm not saying like IWCTL is that complicated. It really isn't. It's just, uh, it might, it's also probably going to be a bit fiddly not being able to see my password because um yeah. So the space bar sometimes keeps on getting held down. Also, another problem is the um up and left arrow key doesn't work. Um, thankfully, external keyboard solved that problem when I was in the art store. It kept on holding down space when I was typing the password. And because, you know, how passwords work. Um, yeah, I'll be back in a sec. I need to move my stuff over to the SD card. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I've actually done an online install, so I, I, I can actually just not have it installed the Endeavor OS apps out of the box, which is nice. Well, it will still... I probably could have unticked it to be fair. I, I didn't think about that, but it's probably still going to have the Endeavor OS theme in. But I'm not actually going to be using Mate, really, let's be real. But um, I'll be using like Hyperland, similar config to what I've already got a copy over, you know, the config files, and then boom. Yeah, so the only unfortunate thing with using Endeavor OS is at least with this version um it wouldn't make a bfs file system i believe it would just like fail to install so i've gone with ext4 that's the only problem maybe um once i do the ssd like go m.2 i will actually do a normal arch install um with you know BioFS and stuff um and so on but for now it'll work I mean to be fair I don't really know much of the difference between BioFS and EXT4 although I know there's like compression for BioFS I don't know if that's a thing on the XT4 and uh, if so, that I guess that'd be a difference if if it isn't on the X24, but yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll probably get the you know, more updated Arch OS. So, I mean, the one that I was doing an Arch install was the um, January um, 2024 ISO. So, you know, that'd be the April ISO now because they release it on like the first of every month. So. Yeah, I'll, I'll see you in a bit. Pad clicking does seem to work, so um, yeah, I think um, <laughs> it just didn't have the drivers on Windows, which I think is just funny. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I'll I shall theme all of this it's to be, you know, Linux, um, Arch Linux. To film a superior superiority, yeah. Okay, looks like it's using Arc, um, but light theme. Interestingly, in the picture, it's like using the dark one, but it's pretty. You know, it'll have the dark theme installed, and you know, of course, the wallpaper is custom. Not a surprise. Um, I think it, this would be up to date as well because it's an online install I did, but um, yeah. Let's do some installing. I was um, confused as to why it's that. It was really quick, but the um, <laughs> the um, Endeavor OS Reaper actually has Paru, which is nice. Didn't know that. Um, but yeah, I've got Hyperland installed. So, theoretically, switch, log out, 
um, and do it. But I should probably um, tell my old laptop, get the home configs and the space bars going off. Um, yeah, so, yeah, I shall get, um, hopefully um, all the keys work. I should probably test it out. Quite a um I mean the D key works which my old laptop I say old it's actually newer than this but it's completely balked really and I mean it's why I bought this because I was getting so annoyed with that laptop. Um at least all of the I think all of the alphabetical the letter keys work which is something. Of course I've established arrow up and Oh no no no! It's actually working now. The um, side one. I don't know if um, the up and down one is though. Um, but yeah, I shall get my configs all sorted and I'll get to work. So a bit of fiddling because for some weird reason it it wasn't all copying the um, whole. For some reason, we was copying the configs onto the USB stick and then onto here. The files were blank, even though like the file transfer pop up was gone. So I did it again. Like I did like individual files instead of like the whole config folder. Um, and yeah, so I had to manually copy the two Waybar configs and the hyperlink config, but. I now have it up and running. Um, I've it set up to something I like. And yeah. I'm quite happy. I'm a bit annoyed about you know, the keyboard. But the trackpad does seem to work. Um, it's just it didn't have drivers in Windows. Which I find hilarious. Um, but yeah I've also slightly modified config. Because um. The display thing actually matched up to the actual display, like the display name matched up to the actual display, um, which meant the um, thing, like the, it was like using 0 0.75 scaling. Even now it's in 1080p, it seems, and I believe this screen's just 1366 by 768. Uh, and it's just spammed a bunch of eights in the config. Um, yeah, I can't actually read really this two handed. Um, move the window out of the way. Um, but yeah, I'm quite happy. Let's say that. It is doing the high fetch. Um, those are all the specs um, stuff. You know, as I said, I'll do a RAM upgrade, or eventually do a CPU upgrade, I'll probably do a display upgrade, so on and so on. Also, I believe I did. I actually unplug it. Yeah, I did. So, um, I guess I'm going to test the battery life. It's been unplugged for a couple of minutes and it's still at 100%. So, that's sort of a good indication. But at the same time, I've basically done nothing. I've logged into Steam. All I've been doing is editing configs and file manager. So, to be fair, it shouldn't be that surprising. It's not a resource and like. That won't consume a lot of battery, but yeah, web browsing, using Steam, downloading games, that will be, you know, way more battery consuming. So, yeah. It is doing the high fetch. Um, those are all the specs um, stuff. You know, as I said, I'll do a RAM upgrade, or eventually do a CPU upgrade, I'll probably do a display upgrade, so on and so on. Also, I believe I... Did I actually unplug it? Yeah, I did. So, um, I guess I'm going to test the battery life. It's been unplugged for a couple of minutes, and it's still at 100%. So, that's sort of a good indication, but at the same time, I've basically done nothing. I've logged into Steam. All I've been doing is editing configs, and... File manager, so to be fair, it shouldn't be that surprising. It's not a resource and like that won't consume a lot of battery, but yeah, web browsing, using Steam, downloading games that will be, 
you know, way more battery consuming. So, yeah. Okay, so it's been um, a day, over a day since I've got this laptop. Um, and let's be real, my... Um, I'm very happy with it. Let's be real. Um, you know, it looks beautiful. I really like the design. Um, you know, I, I love the stickers, although, you know, admittedly, it is a bit annoying. I haven't actually put, really got space for all of my stickers. Um, but most of my stickers are on there. You know, you got the all of them there, however many that is, I can't be bothered to count. And then you got two there and well, two there and then one there. Um I I really like it not actually being fifteen inches, which might sound weird to a lot of people, but there are reasons why I think it's nice that it's not 15 inches number one i'm going to try and put my 15 inch laptops inside my bag my 16 by 9 ones i should mention um it's a very tight fit i've also got another bag like laptop bag like it's a dell branded bag but that bag's like you know like from a time when 16 by 9 laptops weren't really a thing i don't know exactly how old it is but it's you know from the 2000s let's say um and yeah it basically cannot actually fit 15 inch 16 by 9 laptops i don't think i've actually tested with my um powerbook g4 which is 16 by 10 15 inches but um point still stands um this probably can fit in that bag once again i haven't tested i should do that you're right probably that's what you're saying um any other things to say i can't remember if i said this but yeah the trackpad really isn't nice but i know you can swap it out with you know um a proper one with like dedicated click buttons because this genuinely is probably one of the worst trackpads I've ever used. Um, yeah. Also, when I've played like Minecraft on here, and you can't move them. Track like use the trackpad when you're doing key presses, um, which to be fair, not a big deal because you have the track point nickel nipple, which is actually really nice for playing like high pixel. Like doing PvP, um, I know it looks awkward here, but it look it's way less awkward when you're not doing this one-handed, like what I'm doing now. Um, yeah, so I probably have them mother hand on the movement keys, so W, S, T, and I'd be like that with my other hand. Um, any other complaints? No. You might have seen earlier it when when bars there was a password prompt thing. It seems to be blank because I did end up changing a setting in the BIOS and it just worked, but I don't know it's a very minor thing, it might not be protected. But um yeah, there's an option in the BIOS to swap the control and FN keys. Which is exactly what I've done. So the FN key is actually the control key. And this is the FN key. Why on the earth are the keys actually like that in the first place is a better question. Because like every keyboard ever to exist. Apart from this has the control key there. The FN key there. Don't ask me because I genuinely don't know. That's another complaint I have. Um, I keep on forgetting it's got an SD card reader. Full sized which is nice because mm, micro SD is a bit annoying because um, I kind of broke my, my, my SD card adapter 
which has, you know, full size one. Um, yeah. And the only other, like, USB one I've got is micro, so it'd be useless. So I'm very happy about it being full size. That's really convenient. Um, it'll be useful once I actually need to use it, of course. I don't use SD cards all the time. Fund, uh, not Thunderbolt, that's a mini display port, you know. I've not used either of these um, cables. Um, I'm not actually sure if like my cables um, are Thunderbolt or display port, like they're 2 HDMI and um, display port. I've got two of them. I don't know if they're compatible with this. Cause I think if it's Thunderbolt, it wouldn't do but i don't know if there's like thunderbolt for actual displays that are just like outright incompatible with mini dp there's only one way to find out i guess or at the very least see whether mine is um i'm not particularly certain i like the charger being on the back if i'm being honest also when i play minecraft this laptop certainly gets hot and another thing is, um, even though I've upgraded the RAM from 4 to 8 gigs, I have absolutely run out of RAM twice, forcing me to shut down. That's why it's currently not on right now, by the way, because I did certainly uh, made it run out of RAM. Um, yeah, so RAM upgrade will obviously be happening. How soon? I don't know. I mean... I could do it now if I really wanted, just take out the RAM from the iMac 23, but I, I kind of don't really want to do that, but I very well could, because um, I would still have, um, it, well, it's got six, it's got 32 gigs and it's, you know, four, eight gig sticks, so I could take out two of them and have um, 16, but I could also use the ones that are already inside here, which actually came from the 2039 mag, and chuck it in there. Um, yeah, I also have planned to put a couple more stickers on there. Well, I say that, it's like one sticker, really. Um, hopefully it can fit here. I can't really remember the scarf. It's the scale of things. Um, yeah, I also need to stop recording this clip soon because i've got 0 0.2 gigs of storage on this phone but yeah i do like the fact that it's got an optical drive although i've not tested it at all i don't know if it's broken or not although if i'm being honest it probably isn't broken generally the drives that i find the most unreliable are like the apple slot loading drives they always seem to die or they work when they want to, which isn't all the time. But this is the trade loading, and it's not like an Apple computer. I don't know what manufacture. What manufacture? I've gone blank on what manufacturers Apple use for their disk drives. Um, I do want to try and cut off the excess power PC sticker. I did move it slightly down, so it's slightly so it sticks out the top less. But it does also very, very slightly stick out on the screen. Also, another thing, I didn't notice this until a little bit earlier today. There's a little crack down there. Not at the end of the world, but I mean, there's a sticker covering it. Xenia's covering up a bit of it. But yeah, I shall have to stop this clip because I'm on 0 0.1 gigs of storage on the device. So I'll move it to SD card. Okay, so it's been um, a day, over a day since I've got this laptop. Um, and let's be real, my, um, I'm very happy with it, let's be real. Um, you know, it looks beautiful, I really like the design. Um, you know, I, I love the stickers, although, you know, admittedly, is a bit annoying. I haven't actually put really got space for all of my stickers. Um, but 
most of my stickers are on there. Yeah, you got the all of them there, however many that is, I can't be bothered to count. And then you got two there and well, two there and then one there. Um I I really like it not actually being fifteen inches, which might sound weird to a lot of people, but there are reasons why I think it's nice that it's not 15 inches. Number one, I'm going to try and put my 15 inch laptops inside my bag, my 16 by 9 ones, I should mention. Um, it's a very tight fit. Of course, I've got another bag, like a laptop bag, like it's a Dell branded bag, but that bag's like, you know, like, from a time when 16 by 9 laptops weren't really a thing. I don't know exactly how old it is, but it's, you know, from the 2000s, let's say. Um, and, yeah, it basically cannot actually fit 15-inch 16 by 9 laptops. I don't think I've actually tested with my um, PowerBook G4, which is 16 by 10, 15 inches. But um, point still stands. Um, this probably can fit in that bag. Once again, I haven't tested. I should do that. You're right. Probably that's what you're saying. Um, any other things to say? I can't remember if I said this, but yeah, the trackpad really isn't nice. But I know you can swap it out with you know um, a proper one with like dedicated click buttons. Because this genuinely is probably one of the worst trackpads I've ever used. Um, yeah. And also, when I've played like Minecraft on here, and you can't move them. Track like use the trackpad when you're doing key presses. Um, which, to be fair, not a big deal because you have the track point nickel nipple. Which is actually really nice for playing like Hypixel, like doing PvP. Um, I know it looks awkward here, but it look, it's way less awkward when you're not doing this one-handed, like what I'm doing now. Um, yeah, so I probably have the mother hand on the movement keys, so W, SD, and I'd be like that with my other hand. Um. Any other complaints? Now, you might have seen earlier it when when Bars there was a password prompt thing. It seems to be blank because I did end up changing a setting in the BIOS and it just worked, but I don't know it's a very minor thing, it might not be protected. But um yeah, there's an option in the BIOS to swap the control and FN keys. Which is exactly what I've done. So the FN key is actually the control key. And this is the FN key. Why on the are the keys actually like that in the first place. Is a better question. Because like every keyboard ever to exist. Apart from this has the control key there. The FN key there. <sighs> don't ask me because I genuinely don't know. That's another complaint I have. Um, I keep on forgetting it's got an SD card reader. Full sized which is nice because mm, micro SD is a bit annoying because um, I kind of broke my, my my SD card adapter which has you know full sized one. Um, yeah. And the only other like USB one I've got is micro, so it'd be useless. So I'm very happy about it being full size. That's really convenient. Um, it'll be useful once I actually need to use it. Of course, I don't use SD cards all the time. Fund, uh, not fund about that's a mini display port. You know, I've not used either of these um cables. Um. I'm not actually sure if like my cables um are Thunderbolt or DisplayPort, like they're two HDMI and um 
display port i've got two of them i don't know if they're compatible with this so i think if it's thunderbolt it wouldn't do but i don't know if there's like thunderbolt for actual displays that are just like outright incompatible with mini dp there's only one way to find out i guess or at the very least see with the mine is um I'm not particularly certain I like the charger being on the back, if I'm being honest. Also, when I play Minecraft, this laptop certainly gets hot. And another thing is, um, even though I've upgraded the RAM from 4 to 8 gigs, I have absolutely run out of RAM twice, forcing me to shut down. That's why it's currently not on right now, by the way, because I did... So that uh, made it run off RAM. Um, yeah. So RAM upgrade will obviously be happening. How soon? I don't know. I mean, I could do it now if I really wanted. Just take out the RAM from the iMac 23. But I, I kind of don't really want to do that. But I very well could. Because um, I would still have... Um, it, well, it's got six... It's got 32 gigs and it's, you know, four, eight gig sticks. So I could take out two of them and have um, 16. But I could also use the ones that are already inside here, which actually came from the 2039 mag, and chuck it in there. Um, yeah, I also have planned to put a couple more stickers on there. Well, I say that, it's like one sticker, really. Um Hopefully it can fit here. I can't really remember the scarf. It's the scale of things. Um, yeah, I also need to stop recording this clip soon because I've got 0 0.2 gigs of storage on this phone. But yeah, I do like the fact that it's got an optical drive, although I've not tested it at all. I don't know if it's broken or not. Although, if I'm being honest, it probably isn't broken. Generally, the drives that I find the most unreliable are like the Apple slot loading drives. They always seem to die or they work when they want to, which isn't all the time. But this is the trade loading and it's not like an Apple computer. I don't know what manufacturer, what manufacturer, I've gone blank on what manufacturers Apple use for their disk drives. Um, I do want to try and cut off the excess power PC sticker. I did move it slightly down, so it's slightly so it sticks out the top less, but it does also very very slightly stick out on the screen. Also, another thing I didn't notice this until a little bit earlier today. There's a little crack down there. Not at the end of the world, but I mean there's sticker covering it. Xenia's covering up a bit of it, but yeah, I shall have to stop this clip because I'm on 0 0.1 gigs of storage on the device, so I'll move it to SD card. Okay, so here's the sticker, I still want to do that. That's probably not coming off, and I probably don't have the space. Plus, it's worn out, but I guess that's also worn out. But anyway, let's have a look. I'm pretty sure I can f fit this somewhere. Hmm. Where well, exactly? I don't want to cover up the ThinkPad logo. I've said that before. Um, um, I'll do finger size. Hmm. Okay, I'll just about fit there. And actually, that'll be appropriate because it's right next to the Firefox logo. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, I don't screw this up probably this sticker. But I feel like the stickiness in this sticker is actually sort of... Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm not actually saying I can actually use this sticker. Because... Um... Oh my god, that's left um, marks. Yeah, that's like not at all sticky. 
which is weird because I've moved this sticker before. This wasn't originally on this laptop, this was on my first laptop. And it was still sticking, and I was like, I only put this on like 2021. And it's like completely, and you could probably work out when I got it. Um, Hmm, that's a bit unfortunate. Um, stick's actually right on there, but I think that's just because of that. Yeah, it's a, that is vaguely sticky. This is it even worth trying because it seems to be more like sort of papery. So it's probably going to just sort of tear up and leave its remains on here. Anyways. This sticker. Mm. Okay, scrap that, I guess. I totally did not try plugging this in uh, the ThinkPad and seeing whether it was bootable. And, um, spoiler, um, it kept on blue screening. So, no, not bootable. I, I believe Windows isn't actually supposed to be run on external drives. Which is weird considering it's a I'm pretty sure it's like sort of supposed to be a desktop operating system for everything. So you'd think it would. Mm, yeah, don't ask me. Anyways, next thing is this bag, the Dell bag that I was talking about earlier. Let's see whether it fits in. I'll probably have to do this one handed, let's be real. So I'm gonna just unplug the headphone and um charger it's probably fully charged or mostly charged at this point it's been on charge for a while but yeah i shall now put it in and see how it goes it fit yes it does just perfectly it goes right up to the edges which is nice um yeah that's cool I won't really, if I'm being honest, I won't actually use this bag. Let's use my other bag that I use to carry things. Also, funnily enough, this was inside it. You might be like, oh, what on earth is this? It's, well, it's a case. You might be able to work that bit out. Um, yeah. I honestly forgot about this case, it like existing, but yeah, it's a leather case. Well, I say leather; it's pretty yeah, some sort of plastic, but I mean, it means it's vegan. Um, case and yeah, I bought it from my iPad one. I, I genuinely didn't really use this case that much because it kept on falling out. I mean, the iPad one. For what it is, is actually quite heavy. Which, like, don't get me wrong, I do like that it's heavy. I mean, it makes it feel substantial. It feels like it's an actual thing. But it did mean it, with these, just basically attached with Velcro. It basically meant um, it kept on pulling these. And, yeah, one of them's missing. I keep on seeing it. Um, in fact, it was caught in my scarf down there. That's where I kept, it came from. And then it's just sort of been a bit over the place because it was like, that scarf was like on my bed and stuff for probably a month or two. Um, maybe a bit less, maybe not that much. It was like my old bed, so, yeah. Um, but yeah, it can fit in here. I was wondering where it was, it's in here. I'm a bit annoyed about the sticker because I would like to put it on. Maybe I could force it on with, like, I don't know, some sort of glue or something. Or, I don't want to think my ThinkPad badly, my precious little ThinkPad. Also, yes, it is a bit dirty. You can't really see it at all, but, like, sort of here, there's a bit of muck. Yeah, a wipe will get it off, of course. Um, but yeah, um, conclusion, 
I do really like this laptop. Um, it's a very nice laptop. You know, my only real complaint is the trackpad. Um, that's like the only problem, and then the slight hardware issue of the up key not working, but you know, keyboard's easy to replace anything. You unscrew, I think, three screws, I might be wrong, and it just sort of pops out, presumably. I haven't done it because I don't need to do it because I don't have another keyboard yet, but yeah. No, I mean, the spacebar issue was problematic, but it's gone away. Don't ask how it happened. I don't know how it was happening in the first place, but it's gone, so I cannot complain about that. Um, I like I like that it's, you know, quite a thick laptop. I don't like ultra-thin laptops. I feel boring. Um, you know, it's expandable, this laptop. You can upgrade the RAM, the storage. You know, you can have a optical drive, um, a SATA drive. I lost in ill sense which direction is. I think wait, which um, oh the disk drives there, and you can have a op. Yeah, so you've got optical drive, SATA drive, and you can have an M.2 drive inside this nice small fifth. 14 inch laptop which is really amazing um yeah i really love that um and yeah i mean i've upgraded the ram once but i will upgrade it again i probably will end up borrowing ram from my 2039 mate because i am actually i've, I've you yeah, know as i said earlier i've bumped in two times where i've run out of ram um yeah you can upgrade the cpu this is last generation of Intel CPUs that have like socketed mobile CPUs, so I could upgrade this to an i7. That's probably a very future upgrade, let's be real. But yeah, and then also you've got the docking station which goes for like dirt cheap, although I don't think it's got the power adapter. But I don't think the power adapter will be a problem. I think you probably just use the laptop charging i don't i don't actually know what connector it uses for the power um fan i should probably mention yeah i mean the screens this one this model's the phone 66 plus 768 but you can upgrade that to you know 1080p no surprises there um yeah really nice laptop was it worth the money yes absolutely and yeah Hopefully you enjoyed this, um, well, episode one of ThinkPad Adventures. See you in episode two, where I'll probably do an M.2 and RAM upgrade. I don't know about the other things, probably not the other things, if I'm being honest. So it's probably just M.2 and RAM upgrade, and I'll probably install IQ or whatever onto, um, the sato ssd that's currently inside um that's probably the plan um i probably do a hackintosh which i think would be fun i might like get cheat and do it earlier by just using the old hard drive over there but yeah so i hope you enjoyed this little video probably a bit shorter than my other videos but it's still probably i don't know at least 20 minutes yeah i don't i really have much clue on how long the thing in the maths um yeah i decided to stop recording so now i thought i turned off the auto stop recording even though i think it only does it when it's extremely low but yeah so that's gonna be it for today and goodbye